Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing an empties video. I have never done one of these, but I watch so many people's because by the end of a product, you either know if this person loves the product or really hates the product. So I thought this is probably a great opportunity to show you guys what I've used up from what I've remembered to save that is, to tell you what I really liked using and what I will repurchase or have repurchased and stuff that I'm just like, I liked it, but I'm not gonna repurchase it. So that kind of gives you an idea of where, how really good is the product. And before we get too far into this video, I just wanna take a quick moment to thank you for coming to watch this video. I love making videos for you guys. If you have any suggestions about any videos you'd like me to make, please leave it down in the comments below. And if you're new, I really hope that you hit that subscribe button and see all of the fun videos to come. Now let's dive in. I'm really bad at remembering to save all my empties because I'm just, I'm one of those people that likes to try to clean up as I go. So as I was like, oh wait, save that for a video, save that for a video. So this has been a long time coming. Some of these products, I don't even remember when I bought them to be honest with you. So this should be interesting. Okay, so the first thing on top here, oh, you guys know this one. I talk about this all the time. This is my L'Oreal Visible Lift and Blur Concealer. Definitely going to be repurchasing this. This isn't even like a question. It's just a matter of when I'm gonna be at the store next to pick it up. I find this has a beautiful coverage. It's a thick coverage, which I like for my under eyes and for those blemishes that I get randomly. Visible Lift Blur Line is really a great brand and a great line, but the concealer for me is a standout. The foundation itself I don't use it as a foundation. I just kind of use it like as a base if I'm just going to be running out somewhere. It's very like light coverage for me. But I am obsessed with how thick this coverage is without being too much. You can use a couple dabs, blend it in. So definitely a repurchase and a win for me. The next product that I have here is my Rimmel BB Cream Matte 9 in 1. I love this BB cream mostly because it is matte. And you guys know I have a shine to me at all times mostly because I'm oily. So this is my empty and I've already repurchased this. I have a full one right here. I love this stuff. I actually rediscovered it after a past video I did. I think I was talking about duplicates I've bought and I was like, oh, I'm getting low. I want to start using this again. So yeah, this is like my third or fourth time repurchasing this. We'll definitely keep repurchasing this. Love it, love it, love it. Another product here that I have, I don't even remember when I last bought this, but I would reach for it because I was like, oh, I forgot I have that. Let me use that. Is the Photo Ready Revlon Concealer. It looks really ugly, I'm sorry. But I really enjoyed that Photo Ready Revlon line when it came out. I was doing um, some photos with my agency. I was kind of doing a little bit of filming here and there for some commercial work and whatnot. So I thought, ooh, Photo Ready, this will really help me not have any kickback or any shine in images. And it worked pretty well, but again, I forgot about it. Like I kept forgetting about it and I would just be like going through my concealers and be like, oh, oh, I forgot about you. Here we go. So I don't think I'm going to be repurchasing this anytime soon. It's not because I thought it was bad, but honestly, when it comes to a stick concealer, I don't know what it is. I think I just dragging it along the skin. I always end up getting lines and whatnot. I really do prefer either a liquid. Yeah, I just prefer a liquid concealer. I think that's just what it is. I prefer a liquid and I, I just don't like dragging things along my skin. I mean, I have to preserve this. It's the only skin I have. So I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna be repurchasing this at least right away. Oh my gosh. So I have to talk to you about this next product because I don't think anybody even knows it existed at some point because it went, it got discontinued actually. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Foundation. Does anybody even know what this is? Have any of you even heard of this before? Because I am pretty positive. It went out, I was the only person using it. It got discontinued because I was the only one using it. I was obsessed with this when I first found it, which is so funny because I have oily skin and all this did was make me shine. But I really liked how it applied it first. And I was like, oh, this has such, like, it's a, it was a dewy shine look that I liked. But then halfway through the day, because I have oily skin, it kept getting shinier and oilier and it was a little excessive if you tell if you know what I mean it was just really excessive so I kept loving it until I started trying some matte foundations and then I was like oh this is what it's supposed to look like my face isn't supposed to be shiny all the time so I really liked this when they started discontinuing it I would go to the store and I was like wait where is this and they actually have the photo ready brand still but they have it in a liquid not in the airbrush pump because it would just kind of come out, it's a mousse makeup. So what you would do is you would just take it out of the pump here and it would come out as like a mousse and it would go on your face. 
So this isn't the, the liquid that's still available, this is the mousse. I, for some reason, really gravitated to the mousse. I was like, no, the liquid won't do. So I went online and I found on Amazon this little guy right here, because this is the last time I bought it. But if I were to look at my Amazon Prime when I bought this, it was probably last, either last January or even the year before that, like at the end of the previous year. Because I, I forgot about it because I tried those matte foundations and I was like, oh, this is how I'm supposed to look. Don't need to be that dewy. It's not dewy anymore. It's just wet. I think I found this actually when I was doing my declutter. I found it in a drawer that I had forgotten about. And at that point I was like, does anybody know what this is? It's, it's like a rare breed of makeup that I don't think anybody else used except for me. But they, I think the Photo Ready line, I think, is still available, but only in liquids and other, other forms. So, um, yeah, the mousse is out. And I will not be repurchasing this one because I kind of can't. But also, I probably could on Amazon still. But honestly, it makes me so shiny throughout the day. I, I don't know what I was thinking. It looked good at first. I liked the dewiness at first. And then... I was an oil slick, so nope, nope, nope. Next is the e.l.f. Mineral Infused Face Primer. I talked about this a lot previously in videos, and I really like how it's a lightweight coverage and it's not too thick, and it didn't make me break out, because you guys know I have sensitive skin. I break out all the time. Why I break out so much is just look at the draw, but I've already repurchased it because I love it that much. I did go without it for a while, and I was trying other things, and I started breaking out, so I'm not really sure which primer did it. I kind of have to do a test and probably talk about it in a different video, but I never break out with this, so I went back to a trusty one that I knew that I just, I could trust with my skin. It's so important. When you extend trust to a makeup line, you, you're really vulnerable, you know? Love it. Repurchased it already. I actually smile when I look at this product, which is so silly because it's just an eyeshadow and it's a single eyeshadow, but I use it all the time. I've talked about it in previous videos. This is my Wet n Wild Brulee. This is just a light shade that goes up on the brow bone. And the way I'm talking about it, you already know I repurchased it. And actually, I bought a three pack. I went on Amazon and I was able to get the Wet n Wild Brulee in a three pack. So I have backup upon backup upon backup because I love it so much. And I use it all the time in so many looks that I just had to have it. I have to keep it. This is something that right now I would call a holy grail product for me that I can't live without. So obviously, love. It's a win. It's a total win for me. Another product that I have here is the Mega Slicks Wet n Wild Balm Stain and it's a moisturizing lip color. It is down to the nub. I have used this product completely up and I really liked it in the fall. It was like a nice berry shade. This is the shade Rico Mave. Rico Mave liked this for the fall. It was like a nice berry lip and it kind of it stained the lips a bit so it was one of those like I didn't have to think about it. I could drink my water at work. I didn't have to like keep reapplying but I don't honestly know if I would repurchase this because there are so many other lip lines that I have been introduced to such as ColourPop. There's a couple of MAC products that I'm looking at. Other drugstore items that I feel like could do the same thing. I don't know. For some reason this was always a little bit messy for me on the lines and whatnot. At this moment I'm going to say I will not be repurchasing this. But don't quote me because you know once fall comes around I may change my mind. But it wasn't like a standout oh my god love product. Not for me at least. Only two more products left, and this one is my NYC Smooth Skin Loose Face Powder. This I have used in quite a few videos. I like to bake with it. I like to set with it. I love this product. I have already repurchased this because it is just that good. I have tried so many loose powders. I tried a lot of the, the drugstore stuff, like there's L'Oreal's that I've tried. I've tried Maybelline a lot. I think I even talked about the Maybelline in one of my videos. And that honestly doesn't even compare to this NYC powder. I don't know what the absolute trick is. It is translucent. I don't know what it makes this such a standout compared to other drugstores, but honestly, this lasted me so long. Sometimes for baking and whatnot, it was just, amazing. It lasted a long time. It kind of finishes the makeup beautifully. It's very wearable on so many looks, it, which sounds silly because it's translucent, but I've had other powders that claim to be translucent and it gives you that bake face kind of thing where you're cakey. So love this. I feel like I don't hear enough people talk about this. So uh, let me inform you. This stuff's amazing. Highly recommend and already repurchased. And the last product I'm going to talk to you about 
is secret deodorant. And I know, it's not makeup, and you're like, why are we talking about this? It doesn't go with the flow. I'm gonna be honest with you, if I don't have a good deodorant under all these lights that I'm in, or during my work day, I can, I can sweat through stuff, and we're getting to the seasons where it's starting to get warmer out. Don't judge me. But honestly, I really love the Secret Clinical Strength. This one is a clear gel waterproof, and I work out a lot too, so I kind of need the extra help. So I really like this particular brand. I've tried other Secret lines. I've tried other types of the clinical strength and honestly this secret gel is my favorite i don't like the solids i like the gels so that is what i have already repurchased that is all i have to share with you guys today thank you so much for watching and leave me a comment below what is your holy grail product that you keep repurchasing because i really want to know those are the type of things that i'm like if you rebuy it over and over that is a game changer and that gives me a better endorsement like oh i need to get that I really want to know what kind of videos you guys like to see. Ask me questions. Maybe I'll do a Q&A. Whatever you guys are wanting to see, I am happy to do it. I hope you liked this video, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I really hope you hit that subscribe button down below to see all of the fun videos to come. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, friends.